Ooh. Who are you? Aaron over everything. <laughs> You would think that I'm a smoker or something. <laughs> Everyone's talking about Diddy. Diddy this, Diddy that, Diddy do it. We we know the answers, but anyway, ugh, gross. I'm not talking about Diddy. I ain't putting no more light on that fire. Fuck that, it got enough kindling. <laughs> However, you niggas owe these three people an apology. I guess niggas believe Orlando about Diddy giving them the, the, tum the turmeric, the turmeric mushroom poof loud. the Edward Scissorhands cum laude. <laughs> Damn. Tried to discredit Jaguar Wright, Cat Williams. The main one everybody tried to paint as crazy was Orlando Brown. I'm not gonna lie, he comes off as crazy, but to me, he's a situational actor, man. He's in character at all times, and you can tell when he's trying to tell you something, and he has been trying to tell us something a very long time. One thing he said about Diddy was that Diddy wants to party, but you gotta tell him no. Oh yeah, well you do gotta tell him no. <laughs> Not that important, to be totally honest. This is nothing but a, uh, I almost said a subtraction. In a way, it is a subtraction of your brain molecule cells. <laughs> well, so Orlando, Br Orlando Brown <laughs> was telling the truth the entire time. Duh. I always knew that Orlando Brown was telling the truth because you can literally tell in his acting when he goes off into tangents trying to throw you off. You created the Illuminati. If I'm Jesus, I would think I did. Okay. Pretty much anything Orlando Brown says, you have to take it with a grain of salt because he talks in codes and he talks in parables and it's kind of funny. He puts a lot of fact in there and then right after he tries to like throw some, some goofy shit, you're kind of questioning it. It's almost like a defense mechanism so he doesn't get himself in trouble with the elite. What? Anyway, Cat Williams had the biggest interview of the year, as we all know, with Club Shay Shay. I'm Club Phone Won't Stop Going Off. Damn, I'm not popular. Butter one. I'm the one with the butter fun. Yeah. Hey, well... Mm. Then you got Jaguar Wright. Jaguar Wright. Pretty much Jaguar Wright. <laughs> Whoa. Rick, 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 Rick Roth. She's been on for the past two years or something. Maybe even longer than that. It is what it is. I, I, Jaguar Wright kind of comes off as a person that ain't never told a damn lie in her life. What do they do to her when she's telling her truth? Paint her. It's crazy. It's, it's kind of an ongoing thing. When someone hops out of their body and they actually say something, pretty much already knows, but they're the one to say it. Why do we have to paint them as crazy? There's been accusations for years and years. Conspiracy in hip hop, in the music industry in general, in entertainment, whatever, whatever. Why I understand the Orlando Brown thing, real shit. I taste leather and, and suede. When I get the show, I'll be doing most shit like that, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna be licking shoes every episode, but I'm sure it's a couple motherfuckers out there want me to lick a boot or two. <laughs> I'll give you I'll, I'll give you permission to not apologize to Orlando Brown. However, if you know if you know what's good for you, you will apologize to Orlando Brown as well. But Jaguar Wright, Jaguar Wright literally has been putting these truth bombs on these folks for like two years, from my knowledge. And every single thing that she says lines up. Now we actually know that it's a lining up. So all these interviews, you ain't got to question it anymore because it's coming into fruition right in front of your face. Entertainment and the entertainment industry is full of. Devil. I ain't gonna get too deep into it, but back when I used to make music, there was an artist that actually worked with Diddy. I'm gonna just call her Kalina. <laughs> she, while we was in the studio, not gonna say whose studio, but we were in the studio to where we used to record a lot of music. She actually said, nah, fuck Diddy. Somebody in the studio was like, oh, he's a devil. She was like, nah, Diddy's the devil. Diddy's the devil. Gave a story about a party to where i mean it is what it is it's not taboo it's not anything that you like won't believe now but anyway she said it was a party to where boom tapped a uh uh some shit it was some shit off of the damn adam not adam's family uh scooby-doo some goofy shit you know what i'm saying who are you rubik's cube a little tab on the wall and then the damn wall flipped out and there was a bunch of gay shit going on back there it, yeah it's real man and it's the one good thing Actually, there's no good thing that's coming out of this. Shows how evil of a world that we live in. However, puts validity on on the fact that the industry, the entertainment industry, is full of demonic sex trafficking, kid massacres, just evil, disgusting, vile people, and. These three people that have been a part of the industry were telling you all the whole time and no one believed them. Who's eating crow now? Y'all niggas. Y'all niggas. Eat the crow. Eat the crow. You, you, you not vegan anymore. Eat the crow. <coughs> Whoa. Damn. <laughs> what do you know? Michigan. What? Michigan? 
What the? You're from Tallahassee. You're from Wakulla County. I ain't from Wakulla County. I'm from Atlanta. Proudly and happily married now, residing in. Aside from all that, the main takeaway, absolutely nothing because none of this matters. None of this is important. It's nothing but a distraction from you being more enlightened on what you should be more enlightened about, which is Jesus Christ, reading your Bible, bettering yourself. It's a shit show in Hollywood as it's always been. This is nothing more than a, they tied the noose. It ain't going there. It ain't going there. They tied the noose. They lassoed your ass, pulled you in from you doing some, something productive to make you think and talk about something counterproductive like I'm doing right now. Anyway, y'all owe them niggas an apology and that's all that I had. You gotta hope Diddy gets everything that he deserves. He will get every. Truthfully, you don't know that. He could be the Black Weinstein. Maybe they'll fake something on him as well. Uh, what do you call that? What do you call that? Fuck did it. And also, just to end this video, I have to say it. Biggie is one of the worst and most overhyped rappers of all time. And I've been saying that since Biggie Smalls was alive. Biggie sucks. His music sucks. And he was a buttercup as well. Say it. I've been saying it for years. But now, I guess now, I guess now, <coughs> now it's acceptable. Hope you're hearing over everything. Now get over, now get out of... Now get off, now get off of you, now get, <coughs> now put your phone down. One thing he said about Diddy is that Diddy wants to party, but you got to tell him no. Oh yeah, well you do got to tell him no. <laughs> <laughs> you got to tell him no. <laughs> you got to tell him no.